Okay, so uh, my first question is connected with the Internet of Things. And uh, actually, how do you think the EOT and uh, design thinking can change the world in the next five years? I mean, the accessibility of the Internet and the EOT, which is going to be uh, as much spread as possible. How do you think that will change the users? Okay, so f first thing I would say about IoT is that the, the reason why this is different from any other computing that has gone before is that it's a combination of hardware and software. Mm -hmm. All computing before has been about what can we put on the computer. Right. Right? Right. So everybody knows, you know, what is a computer? You learn how to use a computer in school. A computer is a keyboard, a screen, a mouse. And then it's extended through your professional life. The form of that computer doesn't change. With IoT, every solution has a different piece of hardware. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily have a keyboard or a screen. So your interaction with it is going to be personal, um, but at the same time, very different from experience to experience to product. So if anything, if you do not use design thinking to understand how people are going to use your product and therefore their experience, then I think that you have definitely missed uh, an opportunity as far as IoT because mm -hmm. it's smaller than any computing that we've ever had. It's more intimate. And if you don't take into account where is people's comfort level with technology, what do they want to use mm -hmm. the technology for? Do they want their kids exposed to that uh, kind of technology? What impact is it going to have on their physiology? You don't account for those mm -hmm. things. You don't go through design thinking and think about, okay, what is their journey, as we talked about earlier, and you make assumptions that you don't test. Mm -hmm. Then I think you will see it in your bank balance or not. And what do you think? Is it easier or harder to implement design thinking in, in the big companies like IBM or so? It's harder because you're not just um, introducing or using a new process. You are changing an entire culture. Mm -hmm. And some of it is generational. And sometimes I don't think, you know, as much as we preach about, okay, design thinking, if we think about those people that we're trying to change their minds, mm -hmm. are we thinking about them as users of design thinking and meeting them where they are and then bringing them on the journey rather than say, oh, they're giving me a hard time mm -hmm. and <laughs> causing me problems <laughs> and all of that. Yep. So I, I think there's some maturity for us to, to go through and for some things for us to learn. But um, most big companies now, no, it's a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, life cycle for a company used to be 50 to 70 years. Now it's less than 10. Yes, right. And nobody's immune. So um, they understand the need. It's harder because it's a culture change. Okay. And as um, our friend Peter Drucker mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. culture, we eat <laughs> a strategy yeah. for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it is hard, but I think most people understand that this is something that we need to do.